In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the top of the barrel more realistic by having a sunken lid, and I'll show you how to UV map to the more complicated shape. The starting point for this tutorial is a point about halfway through the previous tutorial. I've set up the material for the sides of the barrel and I'm about to do the lid. You can work your way through the previous tutorial or download this file from my website. As before, I'm going to give the material a meaningful name, barrel side, change the view to the top view, and select the top face, click the add new material slot button, and add a new material to it, give the new material a meaningful name, in the image editing window zoom back with the mouse wheel, and drag with the middle mouse button to center the image, in the image menu, open image and open the lid image. Drag with the middle mouse button to center that. Now I'm going to do the modeling for the sunken lid. On the keyboard, press E to extrude followed by enter. S to scale, and I'm going to enter a value 0.94 and enter. Press E to extrude followed by enter and change the view to the front view. Dragging with the middle mouse button, I'm going to scroll the menu bar and I'm going to not limit selection to visible. Press G to grab followed by Z for the Z direction to sync the lid. And I'm going to enter a value minus 0.1 and enter. Click the limit selection to visible button and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and we have a sunken lid. Change the view to the top view and select the central face. Make sure the lid material is selected. Mesh menu, UV unwrap, project from view bounds. I only want the central part of the lid so I'm going to press S to scale and shrink that down and I'm going to enter a value 0.92 and enter. I'm going to set up the lid material. Click the dot at the end of the color box Set the texture to image texture. Click the browse image button and select the lid image. In the file menu, external data, pack into dot blend file, will pack the two image files into the blender file and don't forget to assign the material to the selected face. Drag to close the tool shelf, zoom in with the mouse wheel. Hold down the ALT key to select a loop of faces. Click an edge perpendicular to the loop that you want to select. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Hold down SHIFT and middle mouse button to pan. Hold down SHIFT to extend the selection. Hold down ALT to select a loop of faces. And again, click on an edge perpendicular to the loop you want to select. I found I got the best results when I unwrapped both sets of faces together. Change the view to the top view. Now by trial and error I found the projection that gave the best results was the sphere projection. In the image editing window zoom in with the mouse wheel, press S to scale and scale the projection up. Press S to scale followed by X for the X direction and make the projection wider. I'm going to go into object mode to have a look at the results and the results look good so I'm going to go back into edit mode and assign the material to the faces. I should change the view to the bottom view and repeat the process for the bottom of the barrel but I'm going to leave that as an exercise for the viewer. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the image editing window. Now I can fix the problem with the wrong image on the side of the barrel. Select a face, make sure the barrel side material is selected. Click the browse image button and select the image for the side of the barrel. If the data block has no users, it's best to click the F button so that the data block is saved even if it has no users. To finish off the barrel, as before, go into the front view, zoom back with the mouse wheel, Go into edge select mode, hold down the ALT key and select a ring of edges around the center of the barrel, 
enable proportional editing, press S to scale, use the mouse wheel to increase the region of proportional editing, and I'm going to enter 1.4 and enter. I'm going to end the tutorial there. We now have a more interesting model with a sunken lid. I'll put the finished file for you to download and look at at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.